G'day, welcome back. So back again with the Santa Fe. Uh, I'm going to do a job I've been putting off for some time, as you'll see from the service stick. We're at 30 k's overdue from when it was supposed to be done. Um, not because it's particularly difficult, just because it's a wee bit fiddly and I just haven't got round to it. So yeah, transmission fluid, transfer case oil, diff oil, that's what we're going to do. All um, pretty much to drain and fill, um, fill and spill. Um, so yeah, this is how it went. Under the normal maintenance, so uh, you're not supposed to change the um, transmission fluid. Come to the severe usage conditions, uh, should be changed every 100,000 k's. Um, so we'll go with uh, a bit less than that. Every two years, every one year, we'll change it anyway. Down under the battery there you can see the fill point. Um, a wee bit fiddly to get to but um, not impossible. Uh, it takes a 3 8 on a square drive there or it's a bigger socket, socket size but I'm just using this couple of long extensions. We fiddle it down there. And then actually can shouldn't be tight so I think five to six millimeters just so we rub a bung. So we made this super mega funnel, so we can actually get it down in that hole. <laughs> Alright, that's in. It's a wee bit Mickey Mouse, but she's in. Alright, so here's the drain plug, 24 mil. Still looks nice and red, which is good. Alright, so here's our magnet. See a little bit of fuzz on there, but not too bad for 330 odd thousand kilometres. Let me see what he wanted to weave it. Weave it came off when I took it out, so we'll just clean that up. Pop a new washer on, we're good to go. Alright, so I'm going to replace the crush washer. I've only got these doughty kind of bonded seals but this is better than that so that works for me so that's back on ready to stick it in the car I think our torque's 38 to 48 newton meters you know just double check um 38 to 48 38 to 48 newton meters so we'll go click them in and we can put some fluid back in Beautiful. Oh, let's see how much we drained out of there. Definitely needed changing. Doesn't smell burnt, which is always a bonus. We actually drained uh, a touch over five, so we'll put back in five point six or seven, something like that. And we can uh, 
check the level. Uh, this is the fluid I'm using, Penrite Multi Vehicle Full Synthetic ATF LV, which is Hyundai SP4, which is the right spec for this vehicle. Um, being Penrite, quality Australian made fluid. Let's stick it in. Why is that going to start to go? Well, we might just take out the level plug, see if that helps. Let's just fill it up. That definitely helps. Take the level plug out before you start filling it up. Just check we're going good. Well, it's definitely going in the transmission now. Bit of a barrage. So it gets tricky now because we've got to the um, level plug and clearly we're not full so we just have to do this real real slow now. Oh, I'm not sure how we're going to get more fluid into there. We're out running the engine, so that might just be how we do it. We might just um, fill it whilst we run it. <laughs> so we've still got another litre and a half at least to get in there. So we started, um, started ripping out the overflow again there. And we put in about what we took out. So we just need to get this up to temperature, 50 to 60 degrees. Uh, check the level again and then we're done. Well, so we'll just run it through the gears. So we're about at the right temperature between 50 and 60 degrees using our not very accurate collider. Take the level plug out. Well, 
That's about the right level, there we go. Beautiful. Boost down to a slow drip. Yeah. Demonstrate that again. So we're down to a pretty slow drip. Uh, so yeah, the level is correct. Oh, get in. That's that done. Awesome. Right, let's get our drain plug back in. Can't leave it fiddly. Be more fiddly when you drop the flipping thing. Alright. Try that again. Hold it slightly differently this time. that one. Right, so here's our transfer case. We've got the drain plug at the top, uh, the drain bolt at the, well, fill plug at the top, drain plug at the bottom. Open the fill plug, open the drain plug, and fill it back up with oil. That's a uh, big old Allen bolt at the top here. No idea what size, about an 8 or a 10, I think. Make sure it's well seated and flipping out. Yeah, it's a wee bit tight on there. Well, that's why you always undo that one first. Right. So it's a twenty four on the bottom. Doesn't take a huge amount of oil. A little bit of fuzz on the magnet, as expected. Not too bad. Clean them off. Right, click, perfect. These are the best pumps ever.
course it blows. Drill plug. That's a plug. Plug. It's good and tight. Perfect. All right, just the rear diff to go. All right, here's the rear diff. Not much room to film anything, but same deal. This time you've got a what is he got? You've got a wee bolt there to fill, bolt to drain. Um, I'll do what I can, but get the idea. Empty it out, fill it back up. Right, fill plug loose. A little bit of go on the plug, but not too bad. All right, that's all drained out pretty well. to drop my camera in the thing of a um, used gear or it's awesome eh plus the battery went flat so it's just winning all around today anyway you get the idea right there we are triple three eight eight one kilometers uh we're due at 300,000 it's a couple over that's all good She'll be right. So we get this one off. Sick of staring at this sticker, so. Oh, that was going off too. Done. Uh, so last time by Asomatic, they're the people who rebuilt the um, transfer case and the. Right, so that's kind of how it went. Um, yeah, camera ran out of battery at the end. You didn't really miss much. We just filled it till it dripped. We put the fill plug back in all good uh so the transmission um was a wee bit annoying um you couldn't really with the funnel i had it was hard to fill without fluid just kind of bubbling back out the top of the transmission uh which is why i took out the level plug to give the um to stop it bubbling so i had air somewhere to escape but that meant when the fluid level got up to that the fill level the fill hole uh, it would spill out of there and we were still about a liter and a bit short of uh, where we needed to be um, so I did it with the car running a um, bit of troubleshooting there uh, the cars running it's going to be putting fluid through the converter torque converter um, so easier to get more fluid in the top and then it'll spill out at the right point 
as you can see you kind of wait for it to slow down to a, a slow kind of trickle then you uh, yeah your levels correct once it transmissions at 50 to 60 degrees celsius um if you've got a scan tool that reads transmission temps that's easy if not you end up using one of these i just use one of these little um ir thermometer oh that's cool eh um that's why i got the temperature somewhere in the ballpark we also measured the fluid the fluid that came out and put back in the same amount so we're pretty good um transfer case nice and easy fill and spill with 75 90 semi synthetic whatever the pen right recommendation was diff same again spill and fill 75 90 semi synthetic no real nasties on the magnets bit of fluff as expected uh, but yeah not too bad a job just be prepared do some swearing and you'll get through it so um there you go comment like subscribe and we'll see you for the next one cheers